Good afternoon or good morning, potentially even good evening to whenever you may be watching this video. Korean Air often appear here on the channel thanks to their ongoing merger planned with Asiana Airlines, a merger that would truly create a mega airline and would not just look to benefit both parties, that of various subsidiaries in the group, with an especial fine-tuned focus on the low-cost carriers, thanks to this likely resulting in them garnering a larger market share, which obviously is something very hard to complain about in the long run, especially in an area of the world which is so competitive, and that being the wider parts of Asia. Korean Air notes that they will be expanding their international network in the coming month, not specifically regarding the launch of, say, new flights, but more so the airline rebuilding an international network that has been massively hampered in recent years. As I've discussed here many times on the channel, and as I am sure you know, if you've been keeping up with the news, the Asian Pacific area has undoubtedly been hit probably the hardest from the pandemic overall in terms of aviation, with restrictions still to this day being implemented in certain areas and hurting airlines as well. With every route therefore restoration, more confidence can be restored that a full recovery will be made, or at the very least is possible. However, it has to be backed up on the grand scheme of things, with the respective governments easing restrictions as well, something that you could argue Australia benefited from. And even as we approach July, the international scene is still recovering, with many airlines yet to return, or at the very least, yet to return with the same amount of frequencies. According to latest reports by Qantas, their international network is only at around about 40%, with especially the North American side of things carrying that passenger load. The airline announced that from July 1st, however, it will resume flights towards both Milan and Vienna, in Europe of course, on a three times weekly service originating out of Seoul. These flights will feature on a Wednesday, Friday and finally a Sunday. On the 10th of July, just a week or so later, Korean Air will spread its wings once again into the United States, flying towards Las Vegas on also a three times weekly service. The days are actually the exact same to that of the prior two services that I made mention of, and once again to reiterate and confirm, that is Wednesday, Friday, and finally Sunday. On top of this, the airline has further noted that it plans on increasing its flights to London Heathrow in the future with five flights per week. Korean Air can actually themselves be encouraged that they are in a position where this kind of thing is possible, and I'm sure, no doubt, they'll be looking ahead towards the future. Like I've said, the Asian Pacific region was hit very hard, so seeing routes reinstated and many key Asian players return to destinations around the world is definitely encouraging. But what cannot be mistaken is there's still a long way to go. We're only at the beginning of the recovery and the journey, and that can even be said for places like the United States, especially in an international sense. If you have any thoughts on the Korean carrier, you know, you can put them in the comment section below, a great place to start a dialogue. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate the support and I will indeed see you next time.